Hello, gentlemen. Today, I'm going to break down one of the most annoying plays in the entire game. Now, this is something that is being used quite a bit by pros as well as the community. It's a quick snap play. It can attack pretty much every coverage. Honestly, it gives me hemorrhoids. I hate this play. I hate this formation, but I got to break it down. I got to show it to you guys. So what we're going to be doing is talking about gun bunch offset out of the Philly or the Colts playbook. And if you're familiar with this formation, you probably know where I'm getting at. And the play is going to be double post. This is an insane play. And if you have a custom playbook, there's literally no reason for you not to run this play. Unless you're just a purist, you refuse to run gun bunch. I totally get it because I hate the formation too. But objectively, the play is insane. So let's go ahead and talk about a few different setups out of this play. All right, so the first setup is going to be a cover three bomb. However, it can pretty much attack any coverage. And it's a quick snap play because you only have one hot route. And all you're going to do is streak your middle bunch receiver. And make sure your bunch is to the field or to the wide side. However, you recognize that I don't care. Uh, but if the ball is on a left hash, then your bunch needs to be on the right. And then vice versa. If the ball is on the right hash, your bunch is going to be on the left. That's how you typically want to run bunch. Yeah, there's certain setups where you do it the opposite. But don't worry about that for now. What we're going to do is show you how this angle post route is maybe the best route in the entire game if Jalen Hurts doesn't completely sell for us. As you can see, he's wide open. The C route's going to hold the outside third on the weak side. The streak clears out the middle third. Even though you don't fully need a streak, this angle post is really shallow. And sometimes he can just beat a middle third on his own. It just kind of depends on the placement of the third, if I'm being honest with you. But you're going to see right here, touchdown. Very simple. And it's a fundamental kind of route combination where it's it's really not just a cover three bomb. Like, think about it like this. You have the tight end running out to the flats. If they play like a zone drop 30 over on the bunch side because you keep hitting them with corner routes or whatever the case may be, uh, this tight end is going to be open a lot into the flats for like five to ten yards. Then you have the running back underneath. So if they overcommit on the angled post, you have your running back. The C route's really never going to be a read unless they play super aggressively on that side, like hard flats, or maybe if they play like a scissor coverage. But overall, this first setup is going to be good versus pretty much any coverage. So for the next setup, this is more about beating a man coverage, more specifically a cover zero, somebody who's spam blitzing you all game and you want to get them out of it, force them to make adjustments. This is the kind of setup you can mix in. So what we're going to do is block our tight end. That's going to pick up a large majority of blitzes. Yes, if they use the, uh, the loop blitz, sometimes it's going to come in randomly. That's just kind of the nature of it. I don't have a full pass protection for that yet. I'm still labbing it. But for now, just block your tight end. And then for the rest of the setup, you're going to zig your point receiver, which is RB. And then option route your running back. And your play art should look like this. And the way this works is the zig will beat man, the option will beat man, and the angle post will absolutely fry man. That has to be respected. It has to be usered or they have to make adjustments to it. Let's go ahead and snap the ball. What you're gonna see there is the zig does get bagged. This does get wide open and you just have a ton of time in the pocket. So if they use like the three, three cub blitz, like this is going to pick that up pretty easily. Um, like I said, the nickel three, three blitz that I posted yesterday that can still come in versus this. So please keep that in mind. But let's say they run with the angle post. You're still going to have like this running back on the option. And overall, guys, like this is really hard to defend. If you're a man covers uh, scheme, like this is really, really difficult. Wide open. Before I get into the rest of the breakdowns, make sure to check out acemadden.com if you guys want a full offense or defense to help you start getting more wins starting today. All you have to do is go to the site, become a member, use code ACE for 15% off, and you'll gain access to every single ebook we have on the site. Right now, we have the Bengals offense and the hybrid dollar. Utilize both, and your win rate will definitely go up. Okay, so the third setup, what we're going to do is create kind of a mesh concept. What we're going to do is just drag our slot receiver, which is RB, and... The concept behind this is we want the mesh concept to hold the user down and away from the angled post. 
we also have this tight end that's going to kind of pull zones to the sideline create space for our running back and then meanwhile the c route is going to pull things to the sideline for our drag so overall this is a really effective concept as well you can always throw this angled post like this you can throw it early you don't have to wait for it to you know bomb a coverage or anything especially with a setup like this where we don't have a clear out route like a streak or something right here our drag kind of got bumped and ruined his separation uh, you can also throw this tight end tight end's also going to be a read you know for five to ten yards a lot of times people will play bunch with a backed off you know 30 yard zone drop and this tight end will feast against that kind of thing if they don't double mabel as you can see you can throw them quickly just get your five to seven yards whatever the case may be very effective route because just keep in mind you can't throw this angled post every single time like it's not going to be available sometimes you have to take your little check downs as boring as it is and i will say the two routes that you really don't want to mess with here is going to be the c route and the angle post uh, the tight end can be put on something else um really the slot receiver the tight end and the running back are kind of interchangeable you can play with those uh the angle post is like the best route in the game you can throw it like that you don't want to touch it in certain cases very situational cases you might especially if you have additional routes but generally speaking that's the route you keep on the field and then may as well keep the c route in most cases because that just kind of opens up the angle post even more it's like right here is the running back tight end was wide open if you go to instant replay you're gonna see they play a cover zero on you usually what happens is the safety from the other side of the field is the one responsible and as you can see wide open and for the final setup we have a zone blitz beater this is going to put your opponent in a bind if he's just spamming zone blitz on you so db fire two or something along those lines all you're going to do is drag your tight end block your running back and then hit your slot receiver your play should look like this and the basic idea behind it is in a zone blitz if they're not making any kind of adjustment this hitch is going to sit exactly where the slot cornerback vacates when he blitzes he's going to sit down right there and then the user has to pick between the hitch or the angle post and that's basically the concept here so let's go ahead and take a look you're going to see right here the linebacker keeps dropping with the angle post obviously it's going to look different in game your opponent's gonna be running around like a madman not dropping back like this but what you're gonna see is if they don't get enough depth for this angled post you can throw him every time and that's typically what they're going to do unless they're you know not a good player they'll take away the angled post and just give up this hitch which can be anywhere from like five to ten yards and it's not sexy but it forces them to adjust and then this drag here it can obviously be open too, just like that. There's your 10 yards. And then you obviously have your angled post in certain cases as well. Now, if your opponent's mixing in coverages really well, it's going to be really hard to uh, get a beat on this play because like this rock combination just isn't very good against man coverage. As you can see, hitch, unthrowable, drag, technically open, C route, you pretty much never want to throw him really versus anything um i guess like maybe a hard flat on the outside um and then right here like i wouldn't even want to throw this angle post i mean you technically could with the right pass lead but it's scary because that middle third is just there lurking so just be very careful if your opponent's using a lot of man coverage you probably don't want to use this setup too much right here mid read actually played it played it really really well but yeah that's pretty much the gist of this play guys there's more you can do with it. Honestly, there's tons of things you can do with it. But generally speaking, uh, the guys, like I said, you don't want to touch are the angled post and the C route, the slot receiver tight end and running back. You can kind of get creative with, you can maybe even do some motion, you know, do something like this, keep the crosser from the slot receiver, you know, run the play like this. And now you have the crosser, something like this, right? You still get the bomb just from a different player. And when you motion your receiver out in bunch, typically speaking your opponent is going to think you're clearing out for a corner route but really you're running something else you're running this deep crosser 
and there's your bomb against cover three. So yeah, as you guys can see, double post is insane. It's the type of play that people will actually leave playbooks to go to. So the Eagles and the Colts both have this play and people are flocking to those playbooks just for this play. And I'm not kidding. Like it's that good. This angled post makes life so easy versus people who have no idea what they're doing. So if you run a custom playbook, there's zero reason for you not to have this play and formation in your custom. Like you have to add it. I don't care if you're a purist because I'm kind of a purist when it comes to bunch, but it's just life on easy mode. You can get people to quit your games early and overall just an insane play. So I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. Please drop a like if you did subscribe for more Madden 24 content. We're getting super close to 20,000 subscribers. Then if you guys need additional help, head to acemadden.com. Use code ACE for 15% off and gain access to every single ebook on the site. See you guys later.